Hey everyone, welcome back to iTech Studios. You have probably seen plenty of PC optimization videos suggesting you increase the number of processors or maximum memory in MS Config to boost performance. But does this actually help? Are you improving performance or unintentionally limiting your CPU? That's what I will explain in this video. It's going to be a short one, so make sure you watch all the way through and understand everything before making these changes. Anyone can adjust the number of processor or memory in MS Config. As you can see, I'm able to choose any figure that I want from 4 or less. And then I'm able to also change the maximum memory value to any figure that I want. But doing so might cause instability issues on my PC or on your PC. Before we dive in, it's important to know the difference between logical and physical cores. The number of processor cores that handles instructions is the physical core. And then the number of physical cores times the number of threads that can run on each core through the use of hyperthreading gives a logical core. To make everything simple, my CPU has four cores, and then each core can run two threads at a time. So to know the number of logical processors I have, I would have to multiply the number of processors times the number of threads each core can run, making it four times two. So in simple terms, I have eight logical processors. Now, should you enable all processors in MS Config? The answer is no. Windows automatically uses all your cores as needed. When you manually change this setting, you are effectively limiting your CPU, which can negatively impact performance unless you are debugging the processor state. So you have to keep this option unchecked and leave it as it is. Some of you might think that leaving the number of processors box unchecked means only one core is being used. This is never true, but leaving it unchecked, you are simply not giving MS Config any instruction to limit your CPU cores. The same goes for maximum memory. If you check that box and set a specific number, you are restricting the amount of RAM your system can use. For example, if I'm to set or change the maximum value to 6 GB, which is equal to 6000 MB, and then I head to my computer system to see the information about my maximum RAM. I will see 8 GB of RAM, but not all of it will be available because of the limitation I have set. So to sum up everything, never check the boxes for number of processors or maximum memory in MS Config. Windows will automatically use your CPU and RAM to their full potential whenever needed. I hope this clears up any confusion. If you are looking to really boost your PC's performance, I will be releasing a video I'm working on. Subscribe and hit the bell notification to check out the new video for complete optimization guide. And if you found this information helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.